przedstawiciel PSZ z Węgier. Także będą rozmawiali po angielsku. Mam nadzieję, że to nie jest żaden problem. Jakby coś to X-Ender tłumaczy na żywo, tylko trzeba podejść zapytać. No i cóż, yy, zaczynajmy bawić się dobrze. Ciach Bajera. Ja się nauczyłem angielskiego w 4 dni, więc może być momentami trochę chropowato, ale myślę, że damy radę. E, Figu bardzo szybko przedstawił kolegę, e, to ja może powtórzę wolniej. E, za chwilkę będziemy rozmawiali, będę rozmawiał z przedstawicielem BP e, Zins, BP, BP Zins e, z Węgier, z Budapesztu. Ich stoisko jest tam przy samym e, wejściu. Please introduce yourself. Hello, I'm from Shadeshnali and uh, I'm from Budapest. It's the big business called BP, like Budapest Zins. And uh, yeah, we have a table there, so we um, What kind of titles do you usually publish? Yeah, we can publish uh, anthologies, like comics and uh, other zines, like thematic zines, like TV Ninja, Newton, Team, Turtles and stuff. So that's this kind of. Uh, okay. How many uh, how many titles per year do you well, do? It's uh, it's very ra very random. So we don't have uh, real net numbers. We just okay, minimum we, number. Minimum number is maybe four or five per year. Uh, how many artists are involved in uh, DB uh, things? We you are kind of collective or you are a regular publisher. How would you describe the uh, status of, of, of different uh, things? We, how can I say it, we, um, we try to involve, we, we are a small group, like four people is my maximum, and we try to involve a lot of uh, Hungarian artists and uh, a lot of artists from abroad, and uh, so we don't have regular numbers for the artists, we just try to make it like a group. Uh, when I asked about uh, What kind of titles do you usually publish? I also meant uh, what are the topics you have any? Uh, what are the usual topics of, of, of this uh, you do? Or is it really really open and wide? Or is it just uh, or is it closed? It's really open wide because uh, our uh, our goal is just to involve people to make, make some thematical things like uh, we we have uh, how can I say. We have main topics like uh, uh, popular or something like that. It's, it, it, it's based on the comic and the movie industry or something. And uh, the other thing is just an artistic fanzine is made. And uh, this is sometimes uh, is is uh, is the same. The artist of this is the same artist made this, but it's not regular. Okay. Uh, sometimes it's uh, more uh, artistic stuff. Uh, but sometimes you are doing stuff based, inspired uh, by uh, pop culture, like uh, yeah. Zin, uh, like Zin inspired by, uh, like like your teenage with the ninja yeah. tattoos tribute. Uh, is it just a matter of your taste, your personal taste, or do you want to reach another kind of public publicity? Both. Yeah, Both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we try to involve uh, some pop culture things, and uh, well, I, that's what I said. It's the other is uh, the artistic scene. Try to involve. Yeah. Which titles do you like more? What can I like? What I like? What, which titles do you like more? These uh, which are more artistic or more like pop culture things? I like both because uh, we have uh, Star Wars fanzines and. Uh, i like Star Wars, but it's not my favorite taste, you know, just... But I uh, usually I do uh, artistic things, like in one, based in one team, like I have a jazz team as fun thing, so this is an, another team. Okay, I was asking about that because I'm wondering, uh, do usual Star Wars Hungarian fan will... Uh, will uh, read your zine, he will find it somehow, or there is no chance for such people? Yeah, this is a difficulty in the, in the zines, zine scene, or we try to, how can I say it, uh, we organize a festival, which is reach the uh, pop culture, or uh, like, maybe it's not pop 
how can I say this? Um, the comic based people and uh, I'm <laughs> comic fans, of course, and uh, try to uh, reach the uh, artistic. Why don't you basically? Yeah, it's about. How can you, are you able, how can you describe the uh, Hungarian uh, comics market? Are you a part of, of, of this market or you are somewhere in between? No, 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 we are not, we are not a part of the, the, this industry. It's really small, the comic uh, industry is really small in Hungary and uh, they are mostly published, uh, uh, how can I say it? Stuff that, that you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> no, no I, um, it's not my taste. You know, f uh, like fantasy stuffs and Marvel based stuff. So it's it's kind of regular in everywhere I think. Okay, so you are a part of, of, of the market, but uh, I'm wondering, uh, do you uh, attend the bigger festivals or events in, in Hungary? Are you, do you have a table there, or you are just a uh, just going there as a uh, part of, as a, as a fan, or you don't want to have nothing uh, common with, with, with such uh, events? Uh, I think it's very important to be there in, in, the, in the festivals, just to represent the Hungarian zine culture and the zine fanzines. We, we, we try to collect uh, all of the fanzines from our friends and our, uh, our yeah, the neighbors or something. And uh, I think it's really important to be in there in the in the Hungarian comic industry. You show your stuff. Yeah, of course, because it's how can I say it? It's it's, it's, it's alive. Okay. Does it work? But it's really it, small. Does it work when you attend when you are when you have table at the bigger bigger event? Is there any is there any interest in your, in your yeah, stuff? Yeah, this is another uh, audience. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think we are really stronger every year. Okay. And that's why we are organized the festival, a fancy festival. Mm -hmm. We we'll try to fill the gap in between the comic industry and in between the uh, artistic zines. So there is a bridge. Maybe we try to work a bridge with uh, me. Can you tell something more about about your uh, the, the, the events that you are organizing? When you will uh, when you will have the next one? Uh, how is it uh, called? Nie mamy, przepraszam, nie mamy rzutnika w widoku. Yes. There are no... Okay. We, yeah, I just tell you yeah, okay. that we don't have pictures. But anyway, tell, tell, tell us something more about uh, events that you organize. It was the first in last uh, April. And it's uh, the next second one. It will be in, uh, in the end of end of April and the uh, beginning of May. It's called Ukmuku Zilfest. It uh, came out from nowhere. This is the meaning of this word. And um, yeah, maybe that's it. Is it uh, is it only is it the only uh, see independent comics uh, related event uh, in Hungary? It's it's both. We, we invited uh, some comic artists who are published by themselves with the zines and the stuff, and we try to involve uh, another artistic base. So it's it's really open wide, but uh, not like the fancy uh, like, like the uh, comic festival. It's a bit different. Uh, you're traveling yeah. all over Europe. Like for example, you were in Stockholm last yeah. year. Probably you will be there this year. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Uh, <coughs> uh, do you travel from your own expense? Like, do you pay for your travels the, to to go there? For example, to Stockholm. Uh, that's the first question. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know how to, how to answer it. <laughs> I mean, are you, uh, wh when are you going to some foreign festivals, like in yeah. Stockholm or in Warsaw? Uh, you, you usually pay for your travel. Yeah, of course. Like, I pay for myself. And my publishing stuff is not uh, paid to the, the prices and stuff. On the uh, flight. Okay, so how do you treat uh, such uh, travels, like uh, uh, invest 
Investment. Like an do, do you treat like do these travels like an investment, like or like I don't know showcase to to show Hungarian stuff abroad. What is the purpose? What is the purpose of your travels, of your foreign travels? I just try to represent the Hungarians in culture and uh, some interesting artists from Hungary. This is, the, this is my goal to, when I travel to the foreign festival. So maybe I'll... And what is usual reaction of, for example, Stockholm crowd? Or you were in Warsaw last yeah, year. Yeah, so yeah. what was the the reaction? Did you? I don't know. Did you? Sold uh, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff, or is it just that's interesting? Uh, like in here, what are the differences between the, difference, between the uh, festivals? The Stockholm Festival is like uh, they are really like the artistic scenes, not so much, not so much the uh, uh, the anthologies. Yeah, and uh, it, it's here in like it's like uh, they like um, anthologies. Like the thing you mentioned, stuff and the uh, Star Wars. So I don't know. It's a very difficult question. Yeah. Maybe after some some of these events, some of these festivals, someone is uh, writing to you that both your no, stuff. That's really it was very interesting. Yeah, that's, it's, 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 if you like it, of course. Feedback, like. uh, not so much. Not so much. I noticed that. In Hungary, in the 80s, you had a lot of comic book knockoffs, like of Terminator, mm -hmm. like American Western civilization yes. movies and, and, and stuff. And I was wondering, are you familiar with, uh, with, with these titles? Are there, I don't know, are there any kind of cult thing in Hungary? Yeah, most of But not really. The, the old comic artists are... Um, Nowadays, I try, they are trying to involve the old artists like for the uh, comic festivals. They are selling their stuffs, but uh, they are not so. They are not really published now. So, are you inspired in any way by Hungarian comics uh, culture or tradition? Or it's mm, not. Uh, yeah. It's not a source of inspiration for you. No, it's not my base. Not the base of my inspiration. My inspiration is based on the internet and the people who I met in the, met with in the festivals. And uh, yeah, if I met with some met some interesting artists in a festival, I try to involve. Maybe they are we are published uh, on anthologies or uh, other personal stuff. So that's it. It's uh, the most unoriginal question to, to for, for the end of, of okay. our talk. Uh, what are the plans for BPZs for upcoming year for 2017-2018? We have uh, now finally we have two reservoirs. Uh, yes, I noticed that. Yeah. Okay, so there will be one more question. Yeah. So we have two reservoirs and we try to make it bigger than BPZs and try to uh, publish most uh, much more publishing uh, publishing stuff. And uh, I try to travel a lot of festivals in Europe, like for the West, maybe Portugal or Spain or something. There is a really strong uh, fanzine culture there, so I try to be uh, connected with them and being there. So. Uh, last, last question. Uh, you bought Rizzo, so it's a lot of it's a lot of money. It's, it's a big yeah. investment. Uh, there was a publishing. There is a publishing house in Poland that bought a reason, but they crowdfunded. Mm -hmm. uh, they did some sort of Kickstarter to, to do it. What is your opinion about crowdfunding in general? It's really nice, but uh, in Hungary it doesn't work. People are not so. Uh, you didn't trust for you, 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 you. No, no, we are just doing it out by, the toilet, by ourselves. Okay. So it's, it's not working in Hungary. It's a bit sad, but. Uh, because I'm not trusted. Okay. Trust for this. I don't know why, but they are not. <laughs> Maybe they need time. So it always takes time. Yeah. Maybe. Czy są jakieś pytania? Okay. How much is it?
Thank you. 